it is currently 7.48 a.m. Today, I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the life of a type 1 diabetic. But first, let me get dressed. All good to go. So the first thing we have to do in the morning is test our blood sugar and take insulin. Let's go ahead and see what our blood sugar is. Sitting at 147 for the morning, pretty good. So every day for breakfast, I eat the same thing. Eggs, toast, peanut butter, milk, and a banana. Trying to keep it consistent, that way I know that my blood sugar will always be the same and that I can take the same amount of insulin every day. So for this, I take 10 units of fast acting insulin and then also in the morning, I take 15 units of slow acting insulin just to stabilize me throughout the day. All right, so that is breakfast. Like I said earlier, it's super good to eat the same meal every day because I know my blood sugar is gonna be great after this meal, just because I've had it every single day for <laughs> the last couple months. I'll see you guys later. Let me eat really fast. So I'm all done with breakfast, and now I think I'm gonna edit a video that I'm trying to finish up and get out to you guys so you can watch it. So I almost finished editing my video, but my friend Jared just texted me, said he's on the way for us to go run. We got a 14 miler in the uh, works today, so I gotta go ahead and get ready for that. Definitely need all my diabetes gear for a run like this. Yo! So this is Jarrett. This is the guy who did uh, Nurka Nationals. Sorry, that film was really bad. But Jarrett, what's your goal in the uh, 5K this year? To break 16. Sub 16. You got yeah. any tips on how to better manage diabetes? Don't eat cake as much as Tyler does. That is completely true. Don't eat cake that much. But we're basically going to suffer today as it is raining pretty hard. We got a long 14. Okay, so since we're running 14 miles, I definitely need to check my blood sugar before. I mean, if it's low out there, I will... I'm pretty much screwed because we'd be so far away and I'd have no way to really make sure that it would go up. So we're going to test it and make sure that it's in a good place before we start the run. We are looking at 254, which isn't the best, but at least we'll be okay and know we're not going to go low during this run. So I know that 254 is not the best blood sugar whatsoever, but the thing is during runs like these, my blood sugar will always go down no matter how hard the effort is. Long runs, it always goes down. So I really prefer to have my blood sugar in the low 200s before I start runs like these. So now that we're all tested up and ready to go, let's go ahead and hit the miles out here in this rain. miles finished absolutely miserable out here literally could not have worse conditions right now we're just chilling waiting for Jared to finish his last mile but honestly one of the worst runs I've ever been on in my life let's go baby 
Finish it! Finish it! <laughs> this is what Stretchy has become in this terrible raid. Stretchy in, in the, in the yeah. back seat of a car. How's it? How'd it feel? Terrible. 15 miles in this. It was about the worst possible run you could possibly have. Bye, Jared. Bye. See you later. Say goodbye to the vlog. Thanks for watching our torture. Okay, so I'm back home. I definitely need to get some warm water and shower, but that was absolutely miserable. Got through it though. Check out these socks. Used to be white. Okay, all done with that shower. We gotta go ahead and get changed because I seriously need to check my blood sugar. I put it off because I literally could not feel my hands, but gotta get changed so I can check that blood sugar, make sure we're doing okay after the 14 miler. Let's go check that blood sugar. So I am currently sitting at 80 right after that long run. Pretty much as good as you can expect. Having this long exercise where I'm not really breathing that heavily, just a long run consistent, brings my blood sugar down so I can always expect it to fall. So I was kind of happy to be 250 right there at the start. But since our blood sugar is 80, I'm going to be taking 9 units of insulin for lunch, which consists of a cheese tortilla, skinny pop popcorn, strawberries and peanut butter crackers. This is the meal I eat every day, just like the eggs, which I know will put me in a good place, like it did over time, over that couple of hours. So let me get cooking. One other thing that I really like to have as a type 1 diabetic is crystal light. No carbs whatsoever and you can basically drink as much as you want. Though that's not exactly healthy, it is super good because I don't have to take any extra insulin for it. And this right here, cheese quesadilla, popcorn, strawberries, and some peanut butter crackers with that crystal light is going to be lunch. I feel like it's pretty healthy while also giving me the energy I need with all these long runs I'm doing to keep going throughout the day. So I'm going to enjoy I'll get back to you as soon as I'm finished. Now that I'm finished with lunch, I think I'm going to try and finish that video I was working on this morning. Try to get it out today. We'll see what happens. Really got to get focused and get into grind mode though right now. Gotta get that upload out. Okay, so I got that video all uploaded, finally got that thing out, but I wanted to talk really fast about why I chose to make this video today versus any other day. So tonight for dinner, one of the clubs I'm in, Chicken and Waffle Fridays, great club, a lot of fun. We are having an eating competition. And you know, the words diabetic and eating competition don't really go together that well. But I wanted to kind of show you guys how myself being a diabetic can handle these situations where it's really promoted that you eat a lot of food and how you're supposed to handle it even though it's really tough to... Uh, Keep your blood sugar level with all of this food that you you have to eat and all of that. So, that's why I'm shooting today. Let's go ahead and kind of get back into the story and get to the eating competition. Shogun of the there. Chicken and Waffle Fridays it's Club. Numb. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Okay, so Shogun of Chicken Waffle Fridays. This guy basically regulates it all. Okay, 
So give us your um, spiel on why you should join Chicken and Waffle Fridays. Here at Chicken and Waffle Fridays, we have a wonderful meal of Chicken and Waffle Social Club. It's just 8 a.m. every Friday. It's hot and eating some chicken and waffles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Alright, alright. Okay, and what is what is the objective tonight? What what are we doing tonight? It's an eating competition. What are we eating? New um, Pizza Inn in Christiansburg, Virginia. And it's a there's a pizza buffet that pretty much like CC's, but it's like <laughs> not as chain and junky, I think. Alright, so we're here with Ryan, competition manager at Chicken and Waffle Fridays. What have you got today? What do you, what do you mean? A win? A win? Is it coming? Like even asking. You should know. Of course I'm gonna win. Okay, I, I thought this was a one-man one competition. competition. Okay, there's, uh, I, I misspoke. There's no competition. I'm You'll be the only one that pushes me to eat more than 10 slices. 10 but slices? So 10 slices that. minimum? Do you know why? My max is probably around 30. You want to see something impressive? Right? Yeah. <laughs> This man is not messing around. Hey, I'm still waiting to see something impressive. Alright, so we're here at Pizza Inn. It's a it's a lot of carbs here. So we're gonna check the blood sugar, make sure we're doing okay, and then take the right amount of insulin for all of this crazy food. That's 113, cute. that's pretty solid to start the day. But 113, that's where we're that's where we're at right now. It's my strength. Gonna take a good gotta, amount of insulin to cover for hard, all of this. Hard, hard, hard and fiber. Hopefully it's okay. Change? Alright, Jacob, so how many have you had halfway through this? I had Seriously. 13. The goal is 20. I think mean, if I get to 20, I win. 13 slices of pizza. Mar five. Okay, well, Marissa's out of it. <laughs> I'm out of it. So, this man's gone. After this one, I'll be at 12. We got a race going on here. There's a, there's a race going on? Yeah. That was just me winning. <laughs> when I speed up. Alright, so this whole thing concluded. How many slices of pizza did you eat? 21. And to no one's surprise, I won. Easy. It was a blowout. I could have gone for another 10 slices. Why didn't you do it? Yeah. I, there's no need. This is all talk. How'd you do? That's the loser's table. <laughs> We're back at the crib here. Gonna play the best board game ever. Settlers of Catan. Marissa, to be totally honest, I think this is what you Ooh, there we go. This board's bad. I'm not gonna have any. Alright, let's have a mid-game update here. Okay, so I have four. Daniel has five. <laughs> Marissa has two. And Jacob, what do you have? I'm in a bad spot. Three. Yeah, it's it's looking good here. It's we'll see what happens. Here's, here's, here's the board on blue. Daniel's orange, Marissa's white, Jacob's red. Alright, so the game is over. You cannot tell by looking at it because it was quite a close game. But the winner was <laughs> Jacob here. Ah, Literally I beat know. out, beat so, out, beat us out on the last I turn. Was at Bye.
So we're back home for the night. We gotta go ahead and test for our evening basic lar log acting insulin. Make sure we've been good throughout the day. Hopefully finish it off on the right note. So to wrap up the day, we're gonna have a extremely solid 126, which comes after that eating competition with a whole bunch of pizza and just bad things eaten. So it kind of shows that even if you have this terrible disease, you can still control it in some way. But go light, I didn't really push myself too much in that competition. Went light, went safe, and we had pretty good blood sugar throughout the day. Alright, so that is going to wrap it up for the video. It is now 12.10 in the morning, so officially the day is over. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope I kind of inspired you guys to do a bit more to control your diabetes throughout everyday life. But make sure you're exceeding yourself every single moment of every day. I'll see you guys with a new video shortly.